Hello guys, you're welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how to transform your videos from this to this using a free AI tool. My name is Mandeya Michael, and if today is the first time of you seeing my videos, I make videos on AI tools. And if it's something of your interest, then consider subscribing to this channel to be part of our amazing community of subscribers. So, okay, I will first of all import my video onto CapCut and then after which i will just drag it onto the timeline to start with the editing so first and first usually i would clean up the audio to get rid of noise and also to make the audio sounds pleasing just come and click on the audio tab here so once i'm in the audio tab i'll just come and click on loudness normalization this will normalize the part of the audio that seems like i'm shouting and then next i would come and click on this voice enhancer you usually would want to be very careful with this voice enhancer. Sometimes it makes your voice sound like you are a robot. So I'll just bring down this slider a little bit just to clean the voice up a little bit, not too much. And the next thing is I would like to click on this noise reduction. This will remove external noise that is in the audio. Fortunately for me, I recorded this entire video in a quiet place, so I really didn't have external noise coming into the video, so I probably wouldn't use this feature. You can as well fade in the beginning of your audio and also fade out the end of your audio, but I really wouldn't use this particular feature. And then the next thing I want to do is to move to the video tab to enhance the skin tones of my video. So I'll come and click on video and then come and click enhance. So once you click on enhance, you come and activate this face feature by clicking on it. In other versions of CapCut, you wouldn't see enhance, you would rather see retouch. So I would want to smoothen my skin a little and then brighten the skin tones up a little. Then I probably want to whiten my teeth. Okay, so I mean, this is okay. Let me move the smoothness of the skin a little bit. Better. So I'll go ahead to improve the video by coming to adjustments and then clicking on curves and then I'll just create an S curve on the video. So I'll just come and add a point here and drag it up. So I'll just come and click and then bring this to down. Okay. So I'll just bring this up. So basically the top is for the brighter side of the video. The middle is for the highlights and then the down is for the blacks. So I would want the blacks to be more enhanced. So by clicking, so you see whilst I'm dragging it, the black shirt is becoming more darker. Okay, so I mean, that's just the whole essence in doing this. So let's see the look before we apply the scales. See, the video is looking very flat. And then when we added it, you can see that the video is looking a bit enhanced. So at this point, we are going to duplicate the video so that we can continue with the next step. So I just come and right click on the video and then copy it. And then come and click on top of this layer. Then click on paste to paste the video. So the next thing I would want to do is to reduce the volume on the top video. So I just come and click on this and drag it down. So we'll go ahead and select the top video, then we'll come to the video options here. Select it and then come and click on cut out. The next thing we'd want to do is to click on auto cut out. So now it's going to cut out the image from this top video and then separate the image from the background. With this particular step, you should always make sure to avoid too much movement in your video. Also, if there's too much movement in your video, you are going to see some roughness around the edges of your video, and then it will not make your video look nice. So always make sure to be as stable as possible. So I'll just fast forward this part, and then we we'll continue when the cutout is done. So now that the cutout process is complete, I'm now going to show you how to add background light to make your video look like a pro. So I'll just come and select the video below by clicking on it and then you come to the basic tab of the video option I'll just scroll down and then come and click on relight also I will leaving the updated version of CapCut in the description of this video so be sure to check it out if you are not using the updated version so once I select on the relight I'm going to click on ambient then I'll come and click on this particular ambient option here and then wait for it to load. So once it's finished applying, you just come and click on the light and then change the type to point 
and then leave the object at background so i just position the light and also change the color okay then increase the intensity of the color and then also increase the radius a little bit yes i would want to as well increase the distance I will then reduce the brightness just to make the colors pop out. So now that we are done with the background lights, we'll would come back and click on the top video and then come back and activate the real light again so that we can brighten the face up a little bit. So this time we are going to click on facial and then we'll come and click on this option here. So at this point, we're just going to maintain the type at directional and then the object at people. So once I'm done with this, I'll come and add additional light by clicking on this plus button here and then um, leave the type at directional and then leave the object at book. Then I'll just come and change the color to something a bit more colorful. So, okay, so once you are done with the lighting, at this point, you would want to add some blurness to the overall background. So just come to effects and then look for lens, come and click on the lens tab and then look for blur. So you just drag the blur and come and put it on the video below. Then reduce the intensity of the blur just reduce it a little you can increase it how you like it but for me this is okay then the last thing i would want to do is to come to the adjustment column and then pick this custom adjustment and place it on top of the videos then i'll just drag it to the end of the video then increase the saturation a little bit i would also increase the temperature a little bit and probably increase the brightness a little bit I might also want to add some vignettes to the video that's just to make the edges of the video a bit darker so just increase that a little and then also increase the sharpness of the video so basically with this the video is ready for publicity let's take a look at the before and then the after hello guys you're welcome to today's video and in today's video i'm going to be taking you through how to transform your videos from this to this using a free AI tool. My name is Mandy and Michael, and if today is the first time of you seeing my videos, I make videos on AI tools. And if it's something of your interest, then consider subscribing to this channel to be part of our amazing community of subscribers. All right, if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be part of our amazing community of subscribers. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. See you in another video next week.